Hey everyone, so in today's session for this uh, activity block we're going to be doing a science experiment. The science experiment is called Climbing Turtle uh, and it shows how friction can make uh, objects move. So firstly I'm going to go through the uh, materials that you should have in your in your boxes sent out to you this week. So first thing you should have is some crayons or markers. Next up you should have a pencil. Uh, then you should have two different size paper plates. If, there's an, if the two paper plates are the same size it's okay because I'm going to see what I can do with two the same size uh, and see if I can adjust it. So you may have to do the same but if not we'll, uh, we'll come to that in a moment. Next up I should have some scissors. You should also have a drinking straw. Next up is some tape. Some string. A paper towel tube. And you should have some craft beads. You should have two craft beads. I couldn't get any, so I'm going to have to make do. Uh, if you don't have any, if you do have any, I'll show you how you would you would do it. If you don't have any, you can just do what I'm going to do. So, what you what we should do first is we're going to use the two paper plates and the scissors. Now, because I only have two the same size and I don't have two different sizes, I'm going to cut one of them so that they're slightly smaller. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut them where it goes from being the edge of the plate to the uh, to the angled bit that goes over the side. If you have two plates the different sizes, you do not need to do this. I'm just doing this because unfortunately I couldn't get different size paper plates. So what we should have is effectively a smaller paper plate a larger paper plate. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the smaller paper plate and we're going to draw a stencil around the larger paper plate. Okay. So what we do is we're going to go around it, do a circle. So you'll go around the edge of it and do a circle Okay, with your pencil. Then what you're going to do is on the outside we're going to want to draw a turtle's head, its legs and its tails. So I'm going to do it that way around. So if you go around it, like so. Mine's not really, I haven't done the straightest of cuts, so unfortunately it's not really too good. So I've done a, cir a rough circle around there, and then we're going to draw our head. Our legs. I'll show you once I've just finished drawing them quickly. Mine aren't going to be very big. And then a tail. So you can just about see it there. I've done a small head at the top. Oh, where is it? A small head at the top, two le legs, four legs around it, sorry, and then a tail at the bottom. They need to make we need to make sure that they're outside of the smaller circle that we stenciled. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're going to use our crayons, our markers, whatever we've got to decorate the paper plate. Uh, I'm going to color mine, and you can do it however you want. You can do it really colourful. Uh, you can do it so that it's got stars. Anything you like. You can do any sort of a uh, colouring that you like on it. I'm just going to do a rough sort of green over the top of mine so that you guys can see it but you, you guys can get really creative with it do whatever you like make it look as cool as you and fancy as you want if at any point you uh, are struggling to keep up with the video please make sure you pause at certain points so that you can uh, get things done so if you want to pause now to do your coloring in and your drawing that's absolutely fine because with certain parts I may speed through Mine doesn't look 
look amazingly arty, but it's just really quick that I've just done. Sort of a turtle, you can see its head at the top of its eyes. So, what we're going to do next is with your smaller paper plate, you can also colour that as well. So I'm going to do mine the same colour as the other side of it, because it's shiny and I couldn't just use that. So I'm going to get a pink, you can do it as a shell, you can get any sort of colour you like. But I'm just going to sort of just go over mine with a slight purple so you can at least just sort of see some colour. But again, you guys can colour it as much as you like, get it looking as fancy as you want. Again, pause me if you need to at this point, just so you can do the colouring in. So this isn't a arts and crafts sort of session, this is more of a uh, sciencey session. If you'd like to do some arts and crafts, then 100% just go check out some of my artsy videos that I've done for camp, if you haven't done that already. So what we're going to do next is we're going to cut out the turtle that's on this plate, going around the legs and everything that we put on there earlier. So your turtle should be, should look a little bit better than mine because you should still have the arch that comes from it slightly. So remember, as I didn't have that anymore. The arch, the arch of the uh, smaller plate becomes the turtle shell. If you still have it. If not, it's going to be a slightly flat turtle, but it's not the turtle that matters so much, it's the uh, experiment. So once that's the larger plate has been cut out, you should have something like this, which is your turtle. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the smaller plate that we coloured also, and we're going to take them together. Something like that. So you've got that side and then that side as well. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're going to cut our straw in half. So they should be about eight centimeters each. I'm just going to make sure mine are the same length. Two equal sized bits of straw, and we're going to cut two pieces of string. Your string should already be pre cut ready for you. We should have two pieces of string now, also. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to tape our straws to the sides of our turtles, preferably to the leg and to the so side of it also. So I'm just going to do one there, and then one on the leg also. As you can see there, mine isn't the tidiest and neatest, but it should be like that. Okay, we're going to do it on the exact same side on the exact same leg. Sorry, on the opposite side with the same leg. So the two straws should look like that. Okay. There we are. So mine's just taped together like that now. So with our string, we're going to take our paper towel tube. And on each of them, we're going to tie one end to the paper towel. So this could be a little bit fiddly, but I'm sure you guys will be okay with it. So got one. Two. And what we're going to do 
now that we've got those two pieces of string tied on, I'm just going to put a little bit of tape on there to make sure that they don't move. So as you can see, I've just taped them in place. So what we're going to do next is we're going to cut a smaller piece of string, about 20 centimetres long, so it's a little bit shorter this string than the others, probably close to half the length. Now we're going to tie that around the middle of the tube. We should have our three pieces of string, one in the middle that's shorter than the other two, uh, hanging down. Okay. So what we're going to do next is we're going to take our turtle that we made earlier and our strings and we're going to thread each side of the string through the straws. So. Once I've got one through, I can show you how it goes. So our string goes through the straw of the turtle like that. Okay. We'll do the exact same on the other side. If I can get it through, there we go. So we should have our turtle. string like that okay so you guys should have a bead in your pack some beads sorry that you sent in your pack unfortunately I don't have any so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the bits of straw that I cut off and tie them on the ends of my string <laughs> Instead of beads, uh, instead of tying beads up at the end, I'm going to be using these parts of the old straw that I had. I'm just going to tie them off at the bottom. So you guys are going to be tying your beads onto the bottoms of yours, but I'm just going to be using these old bits of straw. What they're doing is they're just going to stop the turtle from fr fr falling through and off the string. <laughs> So once your beads are tied onto the ends of your string, you should have your turtle hanging down that doesn't fall off. So what we're going to do next is we're going to do the experiment, but to do that I'm going to have to move the camera and I'm going to have to use this piece of string to tie it onto a doorknob. Or well, actually I might be able to do it on something else. So as you can see, I've used the center piece of string. Oh, the camera. As you can see, I've used the center piece of string up there to tie it onto something. And then what should happen is we take our beads, if we pull them apart, our turtle climbs. When we pull them away, it comes back down. We pull them apart again, our turtle climbs, we pull it down, it comes back down again. That's using friction, which is the force between two objects rubbing together. What we have there is the string is rubbing onto the straws. Uh, as we pull it, it makes the straw slide up. And then loosening the string releases the friction, which then means gravity can bring the turtle back down. Yeah. Mine's actually the wrong way around. Do it that way. So we've got our turtles that can now climb up the string. Mine is a little bit topsy-turvy, moves about a little bit, but it still works. So have some fun with that and uh, 
see if you how quick you make your, your turtle climb, uh, see if you can get it so that if you just pull one leg, see if it starts to climb, and just play around with it a little bit. I hope you enjoy the rest of your videos for today, enjoy the rest of your week, and uh, yeah, enjoy. Bye.